Section 21 of The Aesop for Children. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Deborah Woods. The Aesop for Children by Aesop. The Fighting Bulls and the Frog. Two bulls were fighting furiously in a field, at one side of which was a marsh. An old frog living in the marsh trembled as he watched the fierce battle. "'What are you afraid of?' asked a young frog. "'Do you not see,' replied the old frog, "'that the bull who is beaten will be driven away from the good forage up there to the reeds of this marsh?' and we shall all be trampled into the mud. It turned out as the frog had said. The beaten bull was driven to the marsh, where his great hoofs crushed the frogs to death. When the great fall out, the weak must suffer for it. The Farmer and the Snake A farmer walked through his field one cold winter morning, on the ground lay a snake, stiff and frozen with the cold. The farmer knew how deadly the snake could be, and yet he picked it up and put it in his bosom to warm it back to life. The snake soon revived, and when it had enough strength, bit the man who had been so kind to it. The bite was deadly, and the farmer felt that he must die. As he drew his last breath, he said to those standing around, Learn from my fate not to take pity on a scoundrel. The Sick Stag A stag had fallen sick. He had just strength enough to gather some food and find a quiet clearing in the woods where he lay down to wait until his strength could return. The animals heard about the stag's illness and came to ask after his health. Of course, they were all hungry and helped themselves freely to the stag's food. And, as you would expect, the stag soon starved to death. Good will is worth nothing unless it is accompanied by good acts. The Mouse and the Weasel A little hungry mouse found his way one day into a basket of corn. He had to squeeze himself a good deal to get through the narrow opening between the strips of the basket. But the corn was tempting, and the mouse was determined to get in. When at last he had succeeded, he gorged himself to bursting. Indeed, he became about three times as big around the middle as he was when he went in. At last he felt satisfied and dragged himself to the opening to get out again. But the best he could do was to get his head out. So there he sat, groaning and moaning, both from the discomfort inside him and his anxiety to escape from the basket. Just then a weasel came by. He understood the situation quickly. My friend, he said, I know what you've been doing. You've been stuffing. That's what you get. You will have to stay here till you feel just like you did when you went in. Good night and good enough for you. And that was all the sympathy the poor mouse got. Greediness leads to misfortune. End of section 21 Recording by Deborah Woods, Saratoga Springs, Utah. Visit my website, childrenstheaterlinks.org.